This is episode 175 of Look What Just Found. You know, these are, I'm going to have to say, these are one of my favorite penny wrappers. If you watch the channel, you know why. They're made slightly larger than, than needed. They have to be the widest penny wrappers out of all penny wrappers. Made in the USA, printed in the USA. 50 cents pennies. But watch how smooth they come out. Oh, man. Shh. Like taking candy from a baby. I missed a couple. Sorry. And there's a super destroyed one at the bottom. I'm going to stay in order, though. All right. Screwed it up a little bit. Not too bad. I love those beat up pennies. So without further ado, uh, let's see what we got going on here. I know there's copper in it already because I saw it. I can see it. Now, I try not, I do my very, very best. This one has some uh, machine doubling. I do my very, very best not to rush. But what I noticed is, that has a nice uh, little crimp roller. What I noticed is, I get the picture of the mat up 95. If there's any doubling. I knew 95 was something. If there's any doubling on the, on the front. I don't know if that's going to qualify. That's really machine doubling, I think. I'm going to look at the L. That's really the only thing that might be considered, or maybe the I. Whoops. Ah, that's the problem with having pennies all over the place. You start dropping things. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that. That's machine doubling. Um, I know maybe some people might consider machine doubling uh, viable for uh, key varieties. But generally speaking, I do not. Unless it's really, really super duper. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice copper. That's a beauty. I think that's our first copper, right? We're on the board. All right. Back to back. I started decaf. I think I mentioned this before, which is so funny. If you've been watching, this could be a Kala era. Could be. Um, could be, if you, if you've been watching my channel from, for months, you know that I started off drinking, uh, uh I have these cups that have uh, 25 ounce, uh, mugs and, um, I've since had some, you know, issues that needed to be addressed and i decided to go to decaf not total yet i'm on uh yesterday i only had one cup of half calf and let me tell you all right that's nice that's machine doubling but that's pretty good there i like that a lot I will put that. That's our first significant one. 
uh, I will put that on the bottom. <clears throat> even though it's machine doubling, uh, this one's got it too. Yeah, you can't even compare the two, really. Uh, tilted hub. And so I'm not, I'm not totally off caffeine yet. I'm, a, I'm afraid of the headaches and um, lethargy. I want to say lethargy. Did I just make that word up? Right? If you're, let, let, if you're lethargic, you call it lethargy. If I'm wrong. I'm sorry. If I improperly used the word. I want to say lethargy. 98, we're looking for the wide AM. Wide AM? No way. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 1998. Hold on a second. All right. Let me find another another penny. 98. Wait, am I looking at an 89? Hold on a second. That's 1998, right? No. Hold on a second. That's a 91. That's a wide AM. All right, hold on. We need to find a 2000 someplace because I'm tripping out here. I've never found a wide AM. Uh, 99. I got a 99 here. All right, I got a 99. I found 99 from the old pennies. Holy smokes, baby. Holy moly, 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 moly. I cannot believe this. Holy moly. You, you witnessed history, right? I cannot believe this. I'm, I'm ready to jump out of my pants. Holy moly, moly, moly. I cannot believe this, man. All right, all right, hold on. I've made an idiot myself before. 1998. P. This is the P. The wide AM is the 1998, 99, and 2000. That's the variety. That is a wide AM. Holy moly, man. All right, what are they, what are they worth anyway? Like the cheapest one. I have to check, right? I mean, that's what people want to hear. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm sorry I can't show you right now while I'm looking it up, but let me put it. 1998, wide AM. Sold. All right. Man, that cheap? Type 2. So there's different types. All right, so one I see sold for 50 and another one, it's an auction, so they got taken. All right, so the, the ten, looks like they're 10 bucks. All right, yeah. White AM, $10. Offer accepted. All right. They're, they're, they're 10 bucks. I mean, maybe in auction you'll find it cheaper. But, yo, I'm super, super thrilled. I got to put it on a piece of paper because I might not forget what it is. Wow, that's crazy. They're, they're out there, man. They're out there. They're out there. Let me tell you, that one needs a little bit of... Oh, I told you... Uh, did I tell... Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I ordered the... Um, yo, the professional... I, mean, I call it professional. Whatever. I ordered the, the, the expensive copper, copper cleaner um, for coins. It's not that expensive. It's 15 bucks. You know? But I have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pennies. 
I've never used anything specifically for copper or anything professional. I did everything the cheap, stupid way, you know, uh, with uh, mineral spirits. I saw someone use mineral spirits once, and I like the I like the outcome of, of it. So I was like, I go, I use it too. I'll go use mineral spirits too. So I mean, and I gotta tell you, for um, for the Kennedy half dollars, that mineral spirits was dope. It came out awesome. I did a video on the cleaning. You guys probably saw it already. Wow, man, a wide AM. Oh, here's a 99. See? Close AM. That was pretty nuts, man. That was pretty nuts. That was my first uh, wide, close variety I ever found. That's a machine doubling going on here. Let me put the uh, the mat back up. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, oh it's supposed to have, and I'm so used to that might be uh, a die clash. Let me look at that real quick. It is a die clash. It's in a weird spot. I, um, let me take a, a little uh, polishing cloth and see if that's dirt. Before I say yes, it is die clash. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was. There's something going on around the face. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. That was pretty awesome, I think. You know, so some of, you know, some of them are selling for ten dollars. Oh, so I ordered the um, the copper cleaner. So that's a good to me. That's a very good. This is a very good, um, yeah, to get rid of some of that corrosion. To make it more desirable, um, I'll do a video on it when I use it. White AM, man. Wow. That's unbelievable. So, in the previous video, let me look at this really quick. This almost looks like a satin finish. It's hard for me to tell. It's obviously a misaligned die. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera. I think it's from the uh, the reflection, the shine. I don't know. I'll put it to the side. We could look at it later. Let me wipe off the uh, lens real quick. Make sure it's not something on the lens. Uh, it's another beauty. Those 22s, man, I'm telling you. They really made them uh, a little different than the other years. Oh, look at this. We got a dime. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. 
See, I don't know much about dimes. All I can say is I can look at this, and I can, it looks like some of the, um, like the, like it might have some worn out letters. I don't know if it's a strike ever or not, if it's just from wear and tear. Interesting. All right. Here's a 2000. We're looking for the, oh, it's a D though. The white AM is, oh, the white AM is for the P, so doesn't matter. I don't have it anyway. I'm not, that's it. That's the first white AM I've ever found. Might be the last. Probably not the last, but. You're bound to find them, man, if you, you know. And anyway, that's a very good illustration of the importance of using aids, right? Because I keep the I keep the picture of the mat up. What's that? Looks like a globe, right? That's weird. It's not, man, but it's perfectly round. See it? Under the S? Kind of odd. Ah. Looks like a strike through. Ah, look at this. This is another good example of something cool to clean to get to the bottom of. I'll put that to the side for, for a little bit. Oh, wow. What a stunner. What an absolute stunner. What a great role this is, man. What a great role. It's so nice to find really good ones every once in a while, you know? Kind of reinvigorates me. Gets me excited about the next um, roll to open. Oh, that's another beauty. I don't know. We'll see. AU or GU. We'll find out. 78D. I see that in the liver. It looks like machine doubling. Let me look at that under the loops. Make sure it's not an LIB. Nah, just got some machine doubling. Nice reflection going on there. Two thousand one. I don't think it matters. Oh, maybe it does. I shouldn't have said that. Seventy six D. It might be a mint error. You never know. It could be a strike through. Crimp roll.
Nice. Wow, what a great roll, man. That's a perfect AU example right there. The other one is BU or better. See, that's a little, that's nicer than the last one we just looked at. If there's any doubling on the obverse, it's a key variety. I don't see any. Yeah, so far that white AM, man, that's the real, uh, that's the find of the day so far. Maybe find of the week, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm, I, you know, you look for something for so long. You see that that's that's a plancha that run. You know. Unfinished or, or something, you know. I mean it's not a great example of one. I'm gonna leave that one for last. I'll probably weigh that last one also. What year is this? 86. Sixty three D. Huh. The sixty three D, if there's any doubling on the obverse, is a key variety. Let me look under the loop real quick. Uh, the D, the N are funky. It also has the it also has the lamination error. So it has the lamination error. That's number one. I noticed it when I looked at it. it has the woody lamination. What did I say? The the E, the D. Yeah, so the D. That D is a good one. So I'll put I'll put it there to to check out as a possible uh, key variety. And last but not least, look at this monster. This is getting very close to no 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 no. I take that back. This is the most deteriorated one I've ever seen. Of course, we have to weigh it. So I'm thinking this is going to weigh like um, maybe under two grams. Oh, I was going to 
2.19. And of course, that's because of the deterioration, the corrosion. I've never found one this corroded before. 85D. You can still see the date on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. I will clean this one also. Um, just as a nice example. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. This was a great roll, man. I'm so happy with it. We even got a dime out of it, man. But that, that white AM, I'm going to have to do a special video on that. All right, please click like and subscribe. We got a bunch of copper, too, out of this one. That was episode 175. And I will see you in the next one, 176. God bless and take care.